Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It has been a while since I had a new DIY video for you guys, and this is going to be my first spring Dollar Tree DIY video for this year, and I really love how these ones turned out. I hope you guys are going to really enjoy them as well. I even have some free printables, so that is always exciting. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. So for our first DIY, it's going to be really simple and sweet. I'm starting off with one of these tints from the Dollar Tree. They're just so beautiful. And I also picked up three of their faux lilacs. So you can even use four for this DIY, but I think that three worked out perfectly. So I'm also going to be using two of these foam floral blocks. You can usually find these year round in the floral department at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four, so I'm just going to be using two today. So I'm going to get started with my hot glue gun and I'm just going to be hot gluing two of those foam floral blocks to the bottom of my tin. Two of these fit really well in the bottom here. If you do get some of the larger foam blocks, you can just go ahead and cut those to size. So these are going to be a little too tall, so I'm going to go ahead and cut each stem off of the base. And to do this with a regular scissors, all you have to do is just go ahead, cut the plastic portion first, and then if you just wiggle it back and forth, it will snap that wire in half. You can of course use wire cutters for this, but regular scissors work just as well. Now I'm going to start assembling all of my foam lilacs into that foam block. So you just want to kind of arrange them so it looks nice and full. So here is how it looked when all of those stems were in. And if you want to go ahead and just cover up those foam floral blocks, grab some of the Spanish moss at the Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square and it will just cover it up beautifully and give it a really nice finished look. Now this next step is completely optional. So these wood beads are not from Dollar Tree. I'll leave them linked down below. I just picked these ones up from Amazon. They are the 20 millimeter wood beads. I usually have these on hand for other crafts. So I thought it would be fun just to give the tin some feet on the bottom. Again, totally optional, but I do think it looks really cute and gives it a little bit of height. So here's a closer look at the final result. I love the French country feel of this DIY. So for this next one, we are going to be using a free printable to transform this block here. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. This was a new find for me. And if you can find these, I highly suggest you pick up multiples of them. They are so good for crafting. The image on the front is beautiful as is if you want to leave it. But if you do want to transform it, you can just peel off that paper there or you can just cover it up. So these are two of the free printables that I have for you guys today. I'm going to leave a link down below to my blog this is it right here so that link will bring you here when you click it and if you scroll down past the photos you'll see a section that says free printables and you can just click on it and print out any one you like so here I have four different pictures all with a bee theme I thought it would be really fun for spring so I'm gonna go ahead with that third picture this one right here and these are sized perfectly for this block from the Dollar Tree. They are a four by four size. If you can find a four by four frame, these would also look really cute in that for a simple DIY. And like I said before, you can peel off that image on that block, but I printed my picture out on cardstock, so it covers it really well. And I just attached it with some hot glue and it was a one minute DIY. And I think it looks so adorable. And I do have another DIY coming up later on in the video that would go great with this one. Next DIY, I'm going to be using this three pack of terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree. So these are their little mini ones. And I want to just paint the top portion. So to do that, I'm going to be using my favorite paint ever. You guys see me use this all the time. I'll leave it linked down below. It's just from Amazon, but it's my favorite white chalk paint. I'm constantly using it. So I just use it just to paint the lip of the pot there. I thought it gave it a really nice contrast. And once that was fully dry, I grabbed my Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put a little bit in each one of the pots. Next, I grabbed these three succulents from Dollar Tree. They had these in their floral department. So they have little clips on the bottom. You can just leave them on, it doesn't really matter. Or you can pull them off if you like. And I'm just gonna be placing one succulent in each pot. And you can also hot glue them into the pot if you like, but if you're not gonna really be moving it around, you can just kind of place it on top. That way, if you wanna switch it up, it is super easy. This is a really simple and quick DIY, but I really love the look of it. They look really high end. I love those contrasting colors, and this would even be a really sweet gift for somebody. 
after creating these, I thought that they would look really cute on a small tray, so that's actually what we are going to be making next. So I found this wood piece in the crafter square at the Dollar Tree. It's just referred to as a wood plank and I thought it would be the perfect size for a little mini tray. So to get started, I'm gonna grab that same paint that I used for the pots, that white chalk paint. Again, this one is from Amazon and I'll leave it linked down below. And I just went ahead and did two coats on the top and the sides of my board. You can also paint the bottom, but I figured I really wouldn't see it, so I left it plain. Next, I'm just gonna be using four of these wood beads. These are the 20 millimeter wood beads. These ones are the ones from Amazon. I'll leave these linked down below. I'm just going to be using my hot glue to glue one into each corner that way it can just raise the tray up a little bit and give it some feet now you could stop here and this is a nice little raised tray or you can add some decorative handles so that's what I'm gonna do here so I got this rope in the floral area of the Dollar Tree and I just kind of want to measure out how long I want my rope handles to be. And I should mention that this is just for decor. So I'm just going to be gluing these ones on today. So if you do do this, don't use these handles to lift the tray since they could easily pop off. You just want to use them for decor purposes only. So I went ahead and just hot glued one of my handles on and then I attached my second one. And now you have a really simple little tray that would be perfect to put a candle on or even a picture frame. Or you can do what I did, which is use it to display these succulents. For this next DIY, I'm going to be using this slightly larger terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. So this one comes in a two pack, so it's a little bit bigger than the ones that we used in the last DIY for the succulents. First thing that I want to do here is basically just create a little loop handle through the top of it. So I went ahead and took some twine that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I just folded it in half and then kind of pulled it through a knot just to create a little loop and then I made sure to make my knot large enough so it would not slip through that hole in the pot. And then to secure it in place, I just used some hot glue. I put a little bit of hot glue on the pot as well as on the twine and then I just slightly pulled it through and held it in place for about 10 seconds or so until it was nice and dry. So now that we have our handle, we're gonna get started on decorating the actual pot itself. So to do that, I'm gonna be using this rope from the Dollar Tree. This one was a little too large for what I wanted to do. So to solve that problem, I just decided to unravel it. So if you do unravel it, you'll have three pieces. So that's what I did here. And now I'm gonna get started on hot gluing my rope to the pot. So I wanna start on the bottom and for the first two rows or so, you do want to do hot glue the entire way around the pot. So that's what I'm doing here, kind of just to cover up that lip portion. Once I had that fully glued down, I was able to start wrapping my rope around the rest of the pot without hot gluing every single section. The only area I did have to hot glue was when I ran out of rope, I did start a second strand. And then when I had to cover up the top part, I did use hot glue to cover up that whole portion. You haven't guessed yet, we are creating a beehive. So now I wanna kinda of give the look of an opening for the beehive. So to do that, I grabbed a piece of parchment paper. Parchment paper is definitely important for this step. And I'm just hot gluing some extra rope kind of into a swirl. And the parchment here really saves your fingers cause you can kinda of glue it right to that parchment paper to get the right swirl size and it saves your fingers from getting burned and then as soon as it dries, it will just peel right off that parchment paper. So you can just glue it on just like it was. I decided to spray paint mine black just to give it a little bit more dimension. So now that it's all dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue that circle right to the front of my beehive just to kind of give the illusion of an opening to the beehive. And now we get to accessorize. So I'm gonna be using these little bees here. These ones are not from the Dollar Tree. I've had these in my crafting stock for years probably. So I was pretty excited to finally get to use them. You can probably find these at a lot of different craft stores. You could even make some bees out of clay or I'm sure you can find some smaller ceramic bees as well. And I'm also gonna be using this gingham ribbon that is from the Dollar Tree. I just made a small bow with the ribbon and hot glued that onto my beehive and then just hot glued all three of my bees. And that is it. And here is a closer look on how it turned out. I think that this one would be really cute in a garden, maybe on a patio or even on a tiered tray. 
For this last DIY, I'm gonna get started with these two pots that I found in the garden department at the Dollar Tree. To start off, I actually wanna glue them together. I wanna create kind of a more high-end looking larger planter. So you will see that they do have a pattern on them. You just wanna make sure that you line the pattern up when you glue them together. And to glue them today, I am using E6000 as well as hot glue to give it a really strong and permanent hold. So I'm just gonna hold it in place for a couple seconds and then I wanna let it fully dry before I move on to my next step. Now that it's dry and set in place, I'm going to kind of remake it over with a nice coat of white spray paint. So this is my favorite spray paint. It covers really well, it's really user friendly and I just love that nice matte look that it gives. So here it is after two coats of the spray paint and you will see there is kind of a seam in the middle so i just want to cover that up and to do that it's going to be really simple all you want to do is just grab some twine add a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place wrap it around until you have your desired thickness and then to hold it in place i just added a little bit more hot glue and here is how it turned out so this is great because you can use it indoors if you want to put a faux plant in it like i did here or you can just put a real plant on the top portion outside so in here i just have some faux grass from the dollar tree it's all i had on hand but i think that this one would look great with a bunch of different plants and those are all of the new diys that i have for you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed these I have a lot of fun stuff planned that is going to be coming out very soon. So if you are not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you are the first to find out as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. You can just click on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video.